When a large-scale failure occurs in the ICT system that supports social infrastructure, the impact on our lives is crucial. Therefore, NTT laboratories are working to enhance the ability to respond to such failures and disasters based on AI ops, a concept of introducing AI and machine learning to the operations of ICT systems. Specifically, we've divided ICT system operations into monitoring, analysis, and recovery phases, and are developing AIs for each phase. Furthermore, we make these AIs work together to enhance the ability to respond to failures and disasters. Generally speaking, a huge amount of training data is required to improve the accuracy of AI. However, failures and disasters occur so rarely and the characteristics of events they cause vary so widely that it is difficult to collect enough data for AI to learn. To overcome this difficulty, we are focusing on a scheme of causing simulated failures or disasters, such as chaos engineering. In the future, we will send information about things that make up the real world into cyberspace, where we will create a digital twin, which is a precise reproduction of the real world. We will then reproduce an ICT system on the digital twin. We can then generate a huge number of simulated failure and disaster patterns, which is impossible to collect in the real world. Using these patterns, AIs that constitute AI ops can learn ways to cope with unpredictable failures and disasters. We consider this system as a self-evolving AI scheme and are working on studies required for implementing this scheme. Let me explain with specific examples. First, the case of failures. Initially, we generate, on the digital twin, a large number of different types of failures with varied failure locations and in varied combinations. Next, we make the AI search for ways to recover from these failures and learn the search results. Through these attempts, we try to find ways to recover from all types of failures, including not only those that occur frequently, but also those previously unknown in the real world. Next, the case of disasters. We generate a large number of disasters with different conditions, such as blackout areas and failure locations. We then make the AI search for ways to cope with them and make it learn the results of that search. Our aim is to automatically find recovery routes based on the locations of telecommunications facilities, recovery priority, and the states of emergency power sources and electrical generators. By feeding the AIs that have learned in this way back into the ICT systems in the real world, we can rapidly recover from unpredictable events, such as failures and disasters. In addition, we can make AI learn how to control a network to provide service with optimized quality. For example, new buildings may change communication demand and the way people use networks in that area. AI can be used to respond to such constantly changing telecommunications environment.